Hey, hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Salesforce Wala again. Like on this video, we are learning about like how we can use the GraphQL in LWC Formula. So basically, let's see first what is GraphQL. Basically, GraphQL is a powerful query language that allow developers that us to retrieve the data uh, in a most efficient way. In a most efficient way, uh, as in like uh, we can directly retrieve the data without using the Apex. So right now, what we were doing is like we can just write the Apex and we can just retrieve the data from the backend and then we can show it into the LWC component. But now, like to display the data, like LWC, uh, like introduce the new new feature that is the GraphQL. That is like whenever we just write the query from the LWC itself, we can just retrieve the data backend data and we can show it into the LWC. So we will see it by using the example right now okay and like there is one more uh like best advantage of using the graphql is like means we can uh retrieve the data of the multiple objects without using the uh like apex so multiple objects as in like uh, uh, you can retrieve the account data contact data opportunity data this all data you can just retrieve it without using the apex using the graphql in a single query okay so let's just go to the example and we will see like how we can show the data how we can query the data using the graphql okay so here you can see i have just created one simple component here okay so that is a graphql example component and i am just retrieving all the data from to the uh, account <coughs> sorry from to the account okay so this is the first 10 query data like that we are using it into the account so there is one more limitations in the GraphQL like means we cannot put the query uh, means uh, we cannot put uh, the limit here so if you wanted to if we, if we wanted the first 10 data we can just write the first 10 data if we wanted the last 10 data we can just write the last 10 data but we cannot put the uh, limit here that is the main uh like limitations of the graphql right now here okay so let's just see let's just let's just go to the code and we will see like how we have done the coding of the graphql here okay so uh so this is the basic component that i have just created okay so let's just go to the js first and then we will see it okay so in the js so there is one major thing that we have to import here that is the graphql qi api so first we have to graphql api then only we can import the graphql and we can do the query and we can just retrieve the data here okay so here we can you can see i have used a wire decorator and just like we were using the lds in the lds we were using the wire decorator to retrieve the data using the <coughs> apex so now you can just write the wire decorator and so with the wire decorator you just have to write this query okay so means you do not have to learn this query means you can just uh, uh, like uh, when the, you can just uh, paste it somewhere and uh, you can use that query again and again okay so you do not have to learn this query okay so basically in the query what we were doing we were just pulling the first hand data of the accounts and these are the nodes that is the name and values as in we are just calling the id and name here right now okay so uh, i have seen one more limitation here that is uh, the custom field i am not able to pull the custom fields here right now but i'll see more documentation how we can pull the custom fields but yeah in the next video i'll try to show you using the custom objects and the custom fields because we mostly use the custom objects and custom fields uh, to show to display the data okay we'll use the standard objects as well but uh, as compared to the standard objects we will use the custom objects more okay so that's why i'm saying okay here you can see i am just retrieving the id and name here so if you wanted to put more uh, standard values you can put it here so how you'll put it you can just write suppose you wanted to put amount here so that is a standard value so you can just put it here and just write the value here so this way you can put more values here okay so in this video we will see the basics about the like graphql okay and 
like how i am retrieving the data here okay so <clears throat> so you, you have seen that like i have put uh, i have just retrieved the id and name so right now i'll see like how we can uh, means how the data is visible then we first retrieve the data okay so right now let's come to the like uh, uh main environment here so let me just retrieve the uh, sorry let me just reload the page and you will see like data check here i have just put the one log here <coughs> <coughs> sorry in the log you can see the ui api okay so ui api as in like from here to here we are getting the data okay so i have i have just written this uh, data check here log here to see the, the how the data is coming here okay so you can see we are getting the data ui api then query then account so all this is in, in into the json format okay so we are getting the data into the json format now what we have to do we just have to segregate the data of id and name here so how i am segregating it here you can see i have just put the map here and from the map i am just returning the node here so node as in like this node so that from this node we can just retrieve the id and the name here okay after that what i am doing i am just displaying the data here whichever i have uh, put into the results and i'm just rotating the results of array and i am just using that and i'm just showing the data here you can see it here values okay so whatever the values are present here you can see the values here are available with the names okay so in this video what we have learned we have learned about the basics of graphql why we use the graphql and uh, what is the query language like uh, uh, since what is the use of this query language and how we can retrieve the data from the packet okay so in my blog i'll uh, like in the description link you will see the blog and you will see all the code available there also whatever the code i have written this is the basic code i have written here so in the next video we will just go to the little more advanced level there we will see how we can retrieve the data and uh, how we can retrieve the multiple object data how we can retrieve the uh like custom object data okay so all these things we will see into the our next level and we'll see the different query next time right now what we have seen we have seen the account of first hand records okay so next time we will see the <coughs> different query apart from this okay so that you will learn a different query as well okay so basically this is the basics about the graphql and how we can use the graphql in lwc we, we have seen it here okay so thank you thank you guys thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe my channel to get the latest video about the salesforce okay thank you